Our coverage continues tonight over a proposal to bring casinos to the Commonwealth. And today, a leader in the state Senate agreed with the governor, signaling he wants to study the issue before moving forward. We've been telling you about proposed gaming facilities for the Norfolk and Portsmouth waterfront. Tenor News Science Brett Hall has a new reaction tonight. Brett. Well, there certainly has been a lot of excitement about this idea of casinos coming to Hampton Roads. And those who are really pushing for it, even with today's news, are staying positive. Since the day the proposals were announced. This is really exciting. Elected leaders in Hampton Roads have touted the benefits of allowing casino gaming. This is our survival. We need to move forward with this legislation because we're losing population, we're losing businesses. And technically, a bill did move forward out of a state Senate committee today. So it's not dead, it just uh, protracts the process. But from Richmond, Portsmouth Mayor John Rose says he is disappointed as the move likely kills any chance of having a final decision made this year. Disappointed would be a, a good word that we can't move forward on the, on the referendum. Rather, State Senate Majority Leader Tommy Norman, along with the governor, want a study to hear about the impacts of casinos, both positive and negative, before they debate any further. This is one of those subjects, Andy, I think that the legislators are going to have to be educated on. Under the bill before the Senate, the study would be returned by this time next year, with voters possibly deciding at the ballot box by summer 2020. However, that only applies to commercial casinos. The Plunkies uh, could very well uh, build a casino once they uh, put the application before the Secretary of Interior. All along, Norfolk's proposal has involved the Pamunkey Indian Tribe operating a resort and casino under federal law. The state only has input on certain types of gaming. However, the approval process to build an Indian casino can take years. And a spokesperson for the tribe confirms today they have yet to start. Now, there are still bills in the House that would call for a referendum this year. In the coming weeks, we'll know if those go on or if the Senate possibly changes their mind. That's why we're saying this likely is not going to happen this year, but there still is a chance. Live in the newsroom, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.